Hey guys, this is Eve with Scrapbooking with me, and this is what we're going to make today. This is using the stamp set that May May made for our August E Club kit, and this one's called Oh Yay Vacay. We're going to be using the little car, the signs, the road, and then this one that says Are We There Yet? Because that's what my kids said all the time when we went on vacation when they were still young. Let me know in the comments below what your kids ask you when you start out on a road trip because it's very very interesting my grandkids now say how many more miles how many more miles how many more miles how many more miles so i don't know which is worse are we there yet or how many more miles but uh this is the card and it's a little pop-up card so there's the sign and then some banners and there's that are we there yet and then inside there's a little pop the little car pops up and it's on its road with its luggage on top we're ready to go all right, that is it. So let's get into making this project. It's quick and easy. So what we're gonna do is start out by stamping this little car with the luggage on top. Now, I've got the SVG file now from Mandy and I will share that uh, over on the E-Club Kit group. This, of course, is our stamp set from the August E-Club Kit. And we're gonna use this little car, the road, uh, the sign and then are we there yet so we're going to use those pieces now if you don't have a stamp positioner I'm going to show you next how you can stamp these after you cut them out using just your table so this is the SVG I've cut out with my Cricut if you don't have a Cricut you can still use these stamps you can just stamp them and trim them out by hand okay so we're going to position that best we can on there pick it up now I've got this stuck down with just a little bit of repositionable tape I don't like to use the magnets on a piece like this because you can't really get up really close to your image and I'll have ink all over me by the time this day is over so don't worry about that all right I'm gonna take those magnets completely off going to press around on it and make sure it picks up everything and it did so there is our little car with the luggage Isn't that cute so we're going to lay that aside and let that dry and yes I have another one over here stamped I thought I was recording a minute ago and I wasn't so I've already done all of this one time but we're going to do it again because I didn't want y'all to miss it clean off my stamp lay that back over there and now we're going to do the sign without using a stamp positioner because I know not everybody has one of those. So, all right, we're just going to put a little bit of the repositionable tape on the back and then I'm just going to touch it, make sure that I get some of that sticky off of there. I'm going to line it up on my grid mat here. There we go. Then I'm going to take my little sign and I'm going to line it up on here. Now this is one of those uh, stamp positioners I think May May sells. I'll link that below. I don't carry these anymore, but I think she might still have some. And if you want to go through my link to purchase from May May, she not only makes money off the sale, but then I make just a few cents off the sale as well because I am an affiliate of her store. So um, I would appreciate that. All right, so we're gonna ink this up. And hopefully I've got it on the right way and I don't have to turn it around. I do. Okay. We're gonna sit that down right over the top of that. And get it just as straight as you can and then just press it down. And there you go. So it works the same way, so you can use either or. And if you don't have one of these, like I said, I'll link it below, but if you don't want to use one of these, you can still use a clear block. Just get up over the top of it and line it up, and you can do it. All right, I have already stamped the little road, so I'm not gonna stamp that again, because that's just a straight stamp. But I am gonna stamp this, are we there yet? 
again because it didn't stamp too good the first time. And a lot of times, unless you condition your stamps, they might not stamp good the first time. So usually I'll stamp them off and then, then do the stamping. If you'll rub them on your hand, get a little oil off of your hand on them, then they stamp a lot better. They hold that ink. There we go. That stamped well. All right. We'll close that up. That was Versafine ink. Versafine ink usually stamps really, really good on these clear stamps. So we're going to lay that over to the side. And then I'm just going to use a punch. This is an old Creative Memories punch that I've had forever when I used to work with them. So I'm just going to use a punch and punch this out, hopefully. All right, there we go on that. Lay that aside. Just going to go ahead and cut this end part off of my little road here. And I'm just going to leave a little spot up there at the top to put our car when we get it colored up. Now I'm going to be using my Arteza alcohol markers to color this up. I think I've shown you these before, but this is the set. This is how they come in this big, nice package. They're already sorted for you by color and family. So we're going to use some of these to color this little car. And since I have that sticky on the back, I can just stick it down to my mat and go from there. Now, I think I'm gonna color my car blue. And these are double-ended. One end is your pointed in, and then the other one is that bullet. And I'm not gonna do any shading, anything like that. I'm just gonna color. And it helps me if I turn my image sideways. We're going to turn it. These are very inexpensive, but to me, I love them. I love them better than my Copics, and that's saying a lot because I love my Copic. Oh, I love the car blue. All right, there's our little car colored, quick and easy. Now, this has a white border around it. If you don't want that white border, you can trim it off. I'm going to leave mine just as is. I don't mind that. Then on our road, we're just going to use a gray. We're going to color our road a little bit. And for the pole here, we're going to use a brown. I'm going to use a little fine tip. This is a Sharpie marker. And I'm going to try to write in these. Just real small. Uh oh. Let me get it to working.
All right, so there are mine. I just wrote park that way, adventure that way, beach that way, motel that way, mountains that way, zoo that way. That was the only thing I could come up with in short notice. And I will link these markers below. I have a discount code for you if you want to try these out. Everybody that has bought them so far that I know of absolutely love them. Now I think we can start assembling our card. Now I'm doing a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card. This piece is four and a quarter by 11. And then I have just folded it in half because I want it to be a top folding card. This piece is cut at, this is gonna be your little mechanism for the inside. This is cut at two and three quarters by six and a half. So then on this piece, we want to score at one and a half, at three, at four and a half, and at six. So that's your scoring. Like I said, this is gonna be your little inside mechanism that's gonna make your little car pop up. Okay, so basically what we made is a little box there. We'll go ahead and assemble the outside and then we'll put that in on the inside. Now this is just a piece of the paper. It's that map grid. So we're gonna use that on the outside here. And this piece is cut at four by five and a quarter. Boy, that one's stuck in a hurry. It is so terribly hot here, guys. I know it's probably hot where you are too, but we've got um, some 100 degree weather here. I'm gonna pull that back up and redo. So, and then the humidity is terrible. So my glue is not liking it. Let's try that one more time. It's wanting to stick and dry too quick. There we go. That's a little bit better. And all these measurements and everything will be over on my blog. That link will be below. This is cut at two and three quarters by three and a half. And then we have another little piece for the top that is cut at two and a half by three and a quarter. And then I have just rounded the corners on both of them. So we're gonna put that down on top of that one. Try to get it straight the first time so I don't have to pull it up. There we go. Now I have just a little scrap of the paper. This is just a little scrap of that paper, the one that just had all the different locations and everything on it. And I have just put it on a piece of black cardstock and then rounded the corners. And this is just about, oh, looks like three quarters of an inch. So just kind of adjust it like you want. I didn't really measure it. I just pulled it out. It was a scrap and I cut a little piece for the back. So we're going to put that right there on the bottom. We're going to put this up on some foam tape. There we go. Then I have just used scrap paper again and I've cut out some little banners. And I'm going to stick these little banners under there. This one I'm going to stick a little bit further back than the other one. There we go with that one. And then I'm just gonna pop this up again. And this one will have it a bit out about right there. So that's our banners there. And those are cut at three quarters and then I just cut them at different lengths. That's all in the world that is, and that's just scrap paper. Okay, then we have another piece, another banner, and I'm gonna put it right down here at the bottom, right up above that, but I'm gonna put it on, on some foam tape too. I want that to have some dimension. And we want it to kind of go over to that side like that. So right there. And then I just cut these little pieces out of the paper. It just says west, east, south. I'm just going to stick these down here. 
I think I'll start with this one since I had to cut the tip off of that one. I'll put it right there. Put east down here like that. And then we'll just put south up there like that. Then I'm just going to take this and I'm probably going to trim off the end of that little stick there just a little bit. And I'm going to stick it down right there in the center. Cute! I like that already. And then I'm just going to stick this little thing up here in the corner and I'm going to pop it up on some couple of pieces of pop dots because I want it to be a little bit higher than everything else. There we go. Cute, cute, cute. All right, let's open him up and do the inside now. Now what this is going to do is this little box, and I'm going to find where I put it together right there. This is going to glue down just like that right at that score line. So we're just going to put some art glitter glue on the bottom of it. Glue it around here where I can see it. Make sure I've got it in the center, close to the center. That looks pretty good right there. Make sure that my score lines are lining up. Alright, and then we need to glue this side down. So glue it over just like that. Alright. Close my card up, make sure that all of that is closing good. And now we can put our little road and our car down here. So I'm going to trim this off just a little bit more. And our little road's going to go down here at the bottom. Okay, so we're going to put our little car and our road together before we put it on there. Okay, there we go. Got our little car on the road. And I'm going to cut that little piece of white off at the bottom. I think it'll look better. There. And then we're going to glue that right down in the center of that, just like that. So let's go ahead and put some glue on that. Now don't put glue up here at the top of your car because it'll glue your card together. Now I have a piece that is four by three and three quarters and we're going to put this down here. That's where you can write your sentiment. And you could have covered before you put your little car box down if you wanted to. I just thought that was cute like that. I wanted the car to stand out so I knew it would stand out better on that black. And then we just have a piece of the paper, the sky. And this is cut at 4 by 4. So we're going to put it... I'm going to put it up here at the top. And I'm just tucking it in just a little bit behind that little box there. Now we're going to put just a couple of pieces of bling on here and this card is going to be finished. And I think I'm just going to use some of this dark blue and there we go the card is finished Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to click that little bell so that you'll be notified when we put up new videos. Also, there is a link below to Made It Con Alabama 
2020. It, it will be in April of next year. That link is below. We are already selling tickets for our classes. Some of them are already filling up. So that link is below if you want to go over and check out our classes. I think I'm teaching six classes there this year, so I can't wait to see you guys. But make sure that you go over there and check those out. There's lots of lovely ladies that are going to be there and lots of different talent that's going to be teaching. All right, we will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.